the dingo has been considered the king of the Australian wilderness. They attack any animal, even those that are dangerous to them. Hundreds of millions of dollars in damage are estimated every year. How has this dingo population been dealt with by Australian farmers? Let's find out with Mouse Farm in this video. The dingo, an animal believed to have arrived in Australian territory from Southeast Asia about 4,000 years ago, has quickly adapted and became an important part of the Australian ecosystem. However, in recent years, the dingo population in this country has grown dramatically causing major impacts on the environment and economy. Currently, this number is about 200,000 to 300,000 animals, double the number a decade ago. Dingoes are a threat to the sheep industry and kangaroo populations. They attack sheep and kangaroos at night and during the day. Many cases have been recorded of significant numbers of sheep and kangaroos being eaten in one night, causing damage not only to livestock farmers, but also to the country's economy. According to estimates, damage caused by dengue dogs is estimated to be worth about $120 million per year. The unexpected explosion of Australia's dengo population poses a significant major challenge for researchers, environmental managers, and policy makers. The introduction of effective management measures to control dengue populations, protect livestock industry and animal populations, as well as reduce property and economic losses as essential to protect the wildlife. Australia's natural balance and maintain its biodiversity as well. The Australian government has introduced warning measures to reduce the risk of collisions between humans and dingoes, especially in areas where they frequently appear. Signs warning of the danger of dingoes announced that they are dangerous animals that can attack people, especially children. The Azaria Chamberlain case which occurred in 1980 in Australia, is a famous event that explores the mysterious disappearance of a nine-week-old baby girl during a camping trip in the Northern Territory of Australia. Lindy and Michael Chamberlain, Azaria's parent, were convicted of their daughter's murder and faced prison time. But after 10 years, a piece of Azaria's clothing was discovered near the dingo's den, and this was the secret that acquitted his parents. The case caused controversy, with some believing that Lindy Chamberlain killed their child, while others believed that a dingo was the culprit. The entire Chamberlain family suffered great losses, especially Lindy, who was accused of her daughter's manslaughter. These events have sparked debate about how dingoes are treated in Australia. Some people say that dingoes are very scary, 
and need to be controlled, while others emphasize their important role in the Australian ecosystem. The guidance provides details on how to respond to a dingo encounter, encouraging people to remain calm and leave the area safely. Self-defense measures such as nick and hit protection are also emphasized. Dingo dogs are widely distributed throughout all Australian states, except Tasmania. However, they are most concentrated in the northern and eastern states, including New South Wales, Queensland, Victoria, South Australia, and the Northern Territory. They also appear on some offshore islands, such as Fraser Island and Kangaroo Island. The Australian government has launched an important strategy, investing millions of dollars to build fences to prevent dingoes from encroaching. These efforts include not only the removal of old fences, but also extend to the construction of new fences with stronger technology and materials. The government spent about $10 million to remove old fences that were no longer effective. These structures are often made of steel, wire, or wood, have undergone deterioration and are no longer strong enough to deter dingoes. The total cost for this project is quite impressive, up to $110 million. States as New South Wales Queensland, South Australia, and the Northern Territory have actively participated in the program of building dango fences. These new structures are typically made of stainless steel or metal mesh. With a minimum height of 2 meters, these improvements aim to improve the fences, containment, and tolerance capabilities, while minimizing the risk of dango encroachment. Dingo dogs, a wild animal in Australia, have become a threat to humans and livestock. This situation has pushed the Australian government to introduce measures to hunt dingoes to prevent their invasion and protect the Australian ecological environment. The Australian government has implemented a dingo hunting program to control and reduce their population. According to estimates, the dingo population has decreased by about 20% since 2015. However, determining the exact number of dingoes hunted each year remains a challenge, making the effectiveness of this program questionable, so difficult to measure. The hunting program is only one part of a comprehensive strategy for dingo control. In addition to hunting, the Australian government has taken measures to trap dingoes. All of these measures need to be implemented and conquered to achieve maximum effectiveness and minimizing damage. Although the hunting program has helped reduce dingo damage to livestock, it is not a complete solution though. The rapid reproduction of dingoes and the population's ability to recover without other control measures are challenges that must be faced as well. In addition 
to the measures we have outlined in this video. Do you know any of these measures and have you ever dealt with any invasive dengue before in your life? Please share all your comments and thoughts down below in the comment section. Thank you and allow me to invite you to continue watching the rest of the video and explore a new land.